So at 1.8 billion people, we currently have the largest generation of young people in history. But too often, current decision-making processes don't meaningfully engage or represent youth voices, and that's, we think, very short-sighted. As the Secretary General's Our Common Agenda rightly notes, the UN needs to strengthen its bond with young people from all over the world. We need to see more institutionalized initiatives which listen to young people and deliver on their priorities for the future. So the ITU Youth Summit is a concrete step to bring youth participation in the discussion of global issues, including the digital gap, the future of work, and gender equality. So Microsoft is very uh, pleased and honored to sponsor this initiative and empower young people from around the world to join the debate in Kigali. Microsoft, our mission is to empower every person and organization on the planet to achieve more. And as I mentioned, with nearly 2 billion people who are currently youth, that's a huge segment of the population that we'd leave behind if we don't really focus on empowering them. Um, one of the things that is really key is that, you know, uh, youth, they're often, they're digital natives. They were born kind of being able to, you know, do the touch screen, think in a digital way. And so I think that there are some opportunities that young people can identify that adults who may not be as digitally native um, can really push the push the um, ball forward and, and thoughts forward and ideas forward. The other thing is that, you know, young people um, are more likely to listen to other young people, I think, than adults or other folks uh, that they are not as close in experience to, like, like many of us. And so the more young people can kind of become activated, have a role, have a seat at the table, you know, that just becomes a multiplier effect that more young people will also uh, join in the cause. And then finally, I think there's really an important thing where, you know, you can be a user of technology and that's wonderful, but we really need um, difference and change to happen with creators of technology. And if we can really bring youth forward to be at, this, at the table hand in hand with technology companies, with the private sector, to really develop the tools of the future, it's going to be more inclusive, more effortless, and more um, able to be utilized across our nearly 2 billion um, young people and, and adults as well. That sounds great. And uh, based on your own priorities, uh, can you share any future opportunities you see to collaborate with the Generation Connect initiative? Absolutely. So Microsoft, we, we definitely anchor on a human centered approach to connectivity, and it's based really on three key elements. So access, um, making sure that not only um, individuals have access to connectivity and devices, but that they're affordable and that people can actually, you know, um, participate uh, with connectivity and with um, digital tools. Second, readiness, so building digital literacy and skills so that people can really confidently navigate the internet. Um, and again, back to being a user, to being a creator. Uh, one of the areas where I really focus and anchor my work is around skills for jobs. And so how do we really think about providing, um, using data actually to leverage what are the in-demand roles that are available now, what's growing in the future, how can we make sure that excluded individuals and youth especially and women too have a chance at those jobs. So readiness is really a key part of the story as well. And then third, um, application so that people can receive the benefits of basic human services like education, healthcare, and economic development. And this point is even more relevant now given COVID-19. That's kind of how we take that human-centered approach to connectivity. Um, two things I'm really excited about, um, really anchoring on that skills for jobs opportunity, is to really engage young people to help close the digital divide. So there are two kind of initiatives that we're very excited to um, kick off. One is um, with the Partners to Connect uh, Coalition with the ITU. We've actually pledged to help train and certify 
10 million people from underserved communities with in-demand digital foundational and technical skills by 2025. We're already on the way to reaching that goal, but more importantly, we think youth will make a huge chunk of that 10 million that we're really focused on reaching. Um, and then the other thing is a really exciting new initiative that we're partnering with the International Organization of Employers, um, as well as a, a, a nonprofit uh, partner called Synapse. We are going to be focusing on least developed countries and um, piloting a new program called Tech at Work to bring digital skills to micro entrepreneurs and specifically youth and women. Um, we're going to be launching in Lesotho, Senegal, and we're going to expand soon to Uganda and the DRC. Uh, we're very excited about this model and we have a total objective of training 20,000 youth and women over a period of a year. So we look forward to collaborating with young people on all of these initiatives. We're looking forward to hearing the voice of young people to make our program stronger and to work collectively to really close this digital divide.